Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. In last week's video, I spoke about this new morning practice routine that I've been getting into. And part of that routine involves an exercise that I used to develop the doubles on my bass drum. And the pattern I use for that is a typical pattern which basically consists of a right, left, and two kicks, this pattern. One, two, three, four. Now that's a very typical and very common pattern to practice in order to develop doubles. But what I've started doing, and I've actually hinted at this last week in that video that I did, was um, I want to invert this pattern. So what I'm doing is putting the bass drum doubles on the downbeat, which basically means that I've inverted the pattern. So I start with the two bass drum notes. So now I've got kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left. And I'm playing quarter notes on the hi-hat, which now means that I've got a unison that occurs between both feet on the downbeat. This is a tougher double to play in my opinion, or at least it is for me, because we actually don't do it that often. Often when we play grooves and we add that double on the kick, we either place them on the third and fourth sixteenth note, or we might play them on the second and third sixteenth note. One, two, three. So I felt like I really needed to practice this because I suck at it. And what I'm doing is practicing this using the 5-3-1 method. So just a reminder, the pattern is kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left. Um, I'm playing quarter notes on the hi-hat and I'm also moving the hands around the drums for the same reasons that I spoke about in last week's video. In fact, if you haven't seen last week's video, I'm going to leave a link to that below. So those reasons for moving the hands around the kit basically is because as I move my hands to various parts of the drum set, it does affect my balance and therefore I need to be able to control that so that when my balance gets a little disrupted it doesn't affect the accuracy of the notes that I'm playing. So I really highly recommend that you move beyond playing the pattern just between the snare drum and the kick to moving the hands around the drums. So just slowly here is the pattern with the hi-hat foot playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a taste of this at 120 beats per minute. I use the 531 method, so 120 beats per minute for um, 5 minutes, and then I'll move it up by 5 beats per minute to 125 for 3 minutes, and then 130 for one minute. So that's the 531 method. I spoke about it in last week's video and I've also done a video on that too. So I'll also leave that in the description underneath this video. Here's 120 beats per minute. So once I've done that for five minutes, I'll take the metronome up by five BPM to 125 BPM and I'll play this for three minutes. And then finally, I'll take the metronome up by another 5 BPM to 130 beats per minute, and then I'll play this for one minute. So 
So that's it. That's the new addition to my practice routine. And like I said, I'm starting at 120 beats per minute because I kind of find this hard. Whereas the other version of this where I start with the hands, right, left, kick, kick, I'm now starting at about 155 beats per minute and doing the 531 method starting at 155 to 165 but this is a lot harder for me so I've had to slow the metronome down considerably like I said in the previous video I'm just aiming for control and accuracy at this stage and just getting comfortable with the coordination I'm not necessarily trying to aim for speed once I feel comfortable and it's feeling easy then I will take the metronome up so at this point this exercise is starting at 120 I probably could afford to start a bit slower but you know, 120 feels okay at this stage so I strongly recommend that you practice this because we're really putting those two bass drum doubles on a part of the beat that we don't usually play them at what I'm going to do in next week's video is show you some fills and a couple of grooves where we incorporate these doubles on the bass drum that start on the downbeat so um, they are a lot of fun to play and they sound great so stay tuned for that video anyway I hope this is something that you could employ in your practice routine and uh, I think you'll benefit from it um, if you like the video uh, hit the like button if you haven't done so already subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video which is every week so until next week have a great week and I will uh, see you all soon bye